The war was over. Humanity had been devolved punishment for their crimes against the Mantle, and the San Chayun were quarantined to their home system. Now the Forerunners faced a greater challenge, a solution to the Flood. After the conclusion of the Human Forerunner Wars, the Forerunner known as the Librarian was promoted to the rank of Life Shaper, the highest rank a life worker could achieve, and charged with studying the Flood. Meanwhile, the Forerunner Ecumene began a debate over how to deal with the Flood, should it ever return. The Master Builder and an extreme faction of Builders proposed an array of rings, the Halos, that would wipe out biological life to deny the Flood a food source. Opposing the Builders was the Didact and his warrior servants. The Didact proposed installations known as Shield Worlds. They would act as powerful military fortresses from which strategic campaigns could be enacted, as well as acting as shelters from the Flood for Forerunners and other species. The debate raged for millennia, as the Didact began constructing his Shield Worlds and the Master Builder began prototyping his Halos and building the Ark, a larger installation that could build and repair Halos. The power the Builders had accumulated during the Human Forerunner War provided the Master Builder with great influence over the Ecumene Council, but the Halos themselves were a grave violation of the Mantle, a drawback not present in the Didact Shield Worlds. However, when the Master Builder proposed using the Halos to preserve species, the Didact's plan was all but defeated. In addition, the Master Builder proposed the construction of a second arc that could further store collected species even creating new halos that could correct the flaws from the original array. While the Council was ready to approve the halos, they wisely halted construction on a second arc, preventing the Builders from amassing more power so suddenly. The Council also ordered the Didact to cease construction of his shield worlds and shift support to the Master Builder's plan. The Didact refused. The millennia of debate had slowly withered away the influence of the warrior servants, and the Didact's refusal was the final nail in the coffin. The Didact and his Prometheans were terribly shamed, and many warriors transferred to the Builder Rate, becoming the newly established Builder Security. The Didact would exile himself and be sealed in a cryptum, a warrior keep, where the Didact's body would be placed in a state of near death, and his mind connected to the Domain in a form of meditation known as Zankara. The Librarian, his wife, was present for the pre-cryptum ritual at their residence on Nomdrago, though she would secretly move his cryptum to Earth at a later date. Soon after her husband's exile, the Librarian proposed a journey to Path Cathona, what humanity now knows as the Large Magellanic Cloud. Research had led many to believe that the parasite originated in one of the satellite galaxies orbiting the Milky Way. The trip served two purposes. One was to discover the origins of the Flood, but also to further secure the position of the Lifeworker Rate in the wake of the recent Builder victory over the Warrior Servants. According to legend, the Forerunners had journeyed to Path Cathona millions of years before, adding further significance to the Librarian's journey. Approximately 8,050 years after the end of the Human Forerunner War, the journey began. Accompanied by two life workers, a miner, and three builders, the group made the great journey to Path Cathona, where they discovered a massive network of precursor artifacts and an ancient Forerunner warfleet. The only signs of life, however, were from a single planet orbiting an orange star. Here, the Librarian discovered a civilization of primitive Forerunners and the true origins of the Flood. Ten million years ago, the Forerunners had risen up against their creators, the Precursors, when it was revealed that the Forerunners would not inherit the Mantle. When the Precursors fled the Milky Way, a contingent of warriors had been sent after them, the Ghost Fleet the Librarian had found before. Some warriors refused and were abandoned on a small planet in Path Cathona. The primitive Forerunners the Librarian had found were their descendants. What Precursors weren't slaughtered turned themselves into a fine powder in hopes that they could be reconstituted in the future, the same powder that birthed the Flood. A small number put themselves in stasis, only one of which was known to have survived, a being who would come to be known as the Primordial. With their task seemingly done, the Warriors killed themselves, horrified at their actions. Those Forerunners that had remained in the Milky Way would never truly know what happened, and the journey faded into legend. What the Librarian learned, she never shared, but all the same made plans to ensure the galaxy would survive the next coming of the Flood, and that humanity would be set to inherit the Mantle. Meanwhile, the Master Builder continued his plans with the Halo Array. Twelve Halos, 30,000 kilometers in diameter were constructed, capable of destroying all life in a range almost unfathomable, but also suited for storing samples and life forms 
for the Librarian's conservation measure. Known only to a few, the Master Builder's second arc, known as the Lesser Arc due to its smaller size, was also constructed. But, for all their work, for all their planning, the Forerunners would find themselves ill-prepared. Approximately 300 years prior to the firing of the Halo Array, on a backwater world known as Seaward, a comet fell, carrying the beginnings of the end. The Flood had returned. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.